Hi everyone, and welcome to Fly the Flag for P&O Live. I'm Stuart Mirmel, President of P&O Cruises Australia. You're about to enjoy some fantastic entertainment with a great lineup hosted by your favourites, Julie and Leron. It's just like being on a P&O cruise in so many ways. But first, thank you for flying the flag for P&O. And thank you all for being so loyal throughout the course. You've kept the flame of hope burning brightly, and we can't wait to welcome you back on board our beautiful P&O ships. And that is going to be a fantastic day for all of us. Now, it's time for the show, and stand by for Fly the Flag for P&O Live, direct from the Pacific Adventure. Welcome to Fly the Flag Live, direct from the Pacific Adventure. What an amazing message from our President's jury. An awesome way to kickstart the show. And speaking of the show, let's get on with it. The countdown is over and a very warm welcome to all of our viewers streaming live from Australia, New Zealand and beyond. We are broadcasting live from the lobby, which is not quite finished yet, but is an exciting new concept for piano cruisers that we cannot wait for you guys to experience on board Pacific Adventure. Tonight, and for one night only, we will be celebrating all things P&O as we continue to fly the flag for a return to cruising. A P&O cruise is a holiday for the whole family, and that's exactly what tonight's show is all about. So sit back, relax, and let us entertain you the P&O way. We are going to be showcasing some of the very best that P&O has to offer, from delicious cocktails, to sit-down comedy, to trivia, a P&O favourite. We'll also take a trip down memory lane with Danny Black and there will be plenty of other surprises along the way. Please don't forget that during the show, you can drop comments and photos in the, in the comment box below. We always love hearing from you guys. However, due to some technical difficulties, we're gonna need this to be after the show has finished, okay guys? So we can't unfortunately have comments going live while we're live, but please, after the show, give us some great comments to read after. Now, many of you remember the adventurers. These teams were carefully selected to test, taste, and experience everything that the Pacific Adventure has to offer. And well, we simply could not do the show without them. So let's cross over to our virtual VIP Blue Room and see how they're going. Hello, the adventurers. Hi. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. <laughs> We've got Patria and Ed. We've got Danny and Josh, the Ignacio family. And Kylie and Julie, give us all a big wave there, guys. Oh, you guys look amazing. It is so great to see you all again, and we cannot wait to see you when you get back on board. Adventurers, tonight you have the night off. We are taking care of everything for you, just like when you are on board. We have it covered. Comedy, trivia, live entertainment, and that's just for starters. We will check in with you guys all again a little bit later on during the show. Now, one thing that I know that everyone at home is dying to see is the Pacific Adventure herself. Over the past few months, Pacific Adventure has undergone both a dry dock and a wet dock. And while she's not quite finished yet, she is going to look amazing. As Australia's most popular cruise line, Piano Cruises Australia has paved the way in presenting the very best of modern Australia, from food and entertainment to the ship's modern and fresh decor. Many of you know and love Zoltina J. She's previously a cruise director and now she works behind the scenes as the Fleet Entertainment Director ensuring that all new exciting initiatives and projects are up and running. And trust me, there is no bigger project than a dry dock. Zoltina J has been busy capturing some of these areas that are getting a fresh new look. Let's catch up with her now in this exclusive behind the scenes look at Pacific Adventure. Cruiselings, oh my goodness, who would have thought it'd be this long in between drinks before we saw each other again. So I am excited to share with you the behind the scenes here on board the Pacific Adventure, p and newest ship in the fleet. So come on, let's go have a look. Definitely one of 
have our many passions. So you're gonna see some great rooms that you are already familiar with. The Blue Room, showcasing Australian and New Zealand live music talent. We also have the Ocean Bar, which has been newly renovated. And Adventure Hotel, where not only live bands, but you will be the star there as well, because it is our karaoke club. On top of live music, we have our world-class entertainment, the Marquee Show Lounge, which is my favorite spot on the ship. But also on this ship, it is the biggest marquee ever. Behind these doors is Black Circus. Created in 2017, Black Circus is home to our adults only cabaret and comedy. A must visit for each cruise. One of my favourite things during dry dock is actually walking around the ship and seeing all the brand new artwork come to life on the walls. And for our night owls and party goers, all the way up to deck 18, we have the new late night hotspot altitude. restaurants are coming together beautifully. The waterfront, Angelo's with the gorgeous Sophia Loren, and the most amazing dragon lady you have ever seen. the tour of the Pacific Adventure. I really wish uh, we could be doing this in person, so please keep praying to the cruise gods that they let us come home. The ships lose a little piece of themselves without you guys, so we need you back. It's lonely without you. We're all thinking of you and we all miss you. Thank you for tuning in to Fly the Flag. Keep flying the flag for PO and we look forward to seeing you soon. Biru. Hi folks, welcome to Archie Rose Distilling Co in Sydney, New South Wales. I'm standing in the Archie Rose Distillery and Bar where we make a whole range of different spirits including vodka, gin, rum and whiskey. My name's Nick and today I'm going to show you how to make the Sunnyside Cocktail. Let's get started. Firstly, a shaker tin and I'm going to pour in 40 mils of Archie Rose Signature Dry Gin. There we go. To that I'm going to add 30 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice and 15 mils of vanilla syrup. The last thing I'm going to add is a dash, about 5 mils of our River Mint Distillate from our gin production. Now you could probably add a couple of mint leaves if you're making this at home. Excellent, now to ice up and shake. Lots of ice. And a good hard shake. Alrighty. Grab a glass to pop that into. Strain that like so. I'm going to top that up with ice and then a splash of Fever Tree Elderflower Tonic. Just give that a little stir to combine those ingredients and then a garnish. Um, this cocktail is quite similar to a Tom Collins or a Southside cocktail. Look those ones up on our website. Um, you normally use lemon or mint with those type of drinks. Today I'm going to use a lemon wedge 
and a nice piece of mint as well so you get that wonderful aroma. Archie Rose is flying the flag for P&O. We hope you can too. Enjoy the cocktails. We look forward to welcoming you to the Archie Rose Bar or on board soon. Cheers. Thanks, Nick. That looks absolutely incredible. So good that we even had to order one for ourselves. I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere. It would be rude not to raise the glass to everyone at home. Cheers, everyone. This is to you at home for your continuous support and for flying the flag with pride. Cheers, everyone. At Piano Cruises Australia prides itself in partnering with some of the finest Australian businesses. Each of these companies provide a range of services to us from winemakers, local food suppliers and fr provide all fresh Australian produce on board of our ships to talent agencies who produce our amazing shows and book our fantastic Australian guest performers. Like many businesses around Australia, our suppliers have also struggled during this global pandemic. Many of them having to lay people off or temporarily close their businesses due to the impact of border closures and no guarantee or return date for future cruising. We wanted to give our suppliers a voice so you can hear their story on how COVID-19 has affected them and how a resumption to cruising will help them in the future. Hey, I'm Graham Gillies. My name is Graham Blackman. My name is Adrian. Hi, I'm Stephen Bigano. Hi, I'm Dan Russell. Hi, my name is Karen Bartlett. Hi, I'm Jane McKenzie. My name is Belle. Hi, Dwayne Roy here. Hi, I'm Luke Mangan. Cruising is a big part of my business. We have five amazing restaurants and we have two beautiful cruise ships that were meant to come out last year. And we've been a very, very proud supplier to p and Cruises for 25 years or more now. For the last 10 years, We've been a major supplier of wine to P&O. The past 600 days have been incredibly challenging. And like travel agents all over the country, we reckon we've endured enough. This pandemic and the subsequent pause on cruising has had a devastating effect on my company, my staff, and the more than a thousand suppliers that we engage with. Our infrastructure that we've brought for the ships has not been utilized for the last 18 months as well. Multiple job losses, with a business that is basically non-existent. And I think I've seen an industry that I've been in for almost 20 years just completely be decimated and changed overnight. We lost our business 80% overnight. Unfortunately, with that, we had to let quite a few staff go, so we're just operating the bare minimum now. And many of our team, particularly our younger ones, have had to find full-time work elsewhere. The rug was pulled out from underneath all of us. Any potential growth was pretty much stopped in its tracks. It's been devastating, not just for me as a small business owner, but for all of my contractors, our various suppliers, and of course, the, the hundreds, literally hundreds of entertainers and other entertainment related people, including the bands, the musicians that we work with on a daily basis. The pause has not only affected the purse strings, it's also affected all of us mentally and emotionally. The whole roll-on effect from not having the cruises going is think about the producers, the suppliers that would supply all our restaurants and, and things on board. And the biggest impact for us is our farmers and growers. And that's directly affected their businesses and their income. All our engineers, suppliers, our procurement uh, people, vendors, specialist subcontractors, they've all lost that uh, total business too. People literally lost 12 months in some cases, 18 months of work overnight. The industry is so important in so many ways, from travelers to agents to crew. I miss the staff, I miss the interaction, I miss the creativity on board those cruise ships. Uh, I feel for our teams that, who have had to go back to their homes. I don't know how strongly I can stress how vital the return of cruising to Australia is. The sooner we get the ships moving again, the sooner we can start hiring, and people can get their travel careers and lives back on track. We need cruising back. Not only us, but many businesses like us. It has to come back. I know it's going to come back. I can see and feel and almost taste the light at the end of the tunnel. And in fact, we must see cruising return to our shores. All we really need is just a window of a pathway forward. We need to understand and get a resumption date for our business to grow. And boy, does Australia need the cruising business back. So we can grow jobs and invest in infrastructure. The return of cruising around the world has been a brilliant light at the end of the tunnel. We remain positively focused on a future where cruising will be back 
and we hope that is soon. And I can't wait to see P&O back on the water. We're a proud P&O flag flyer. I'm a proud P&O supplier and I'm flying the flag. So I'm flying the flag for P&O. I'm a proud P&O supplier and I'm flying the flag. We're flying the P&O flag like never before. And I'm flying the flag for P&O. Such incredible stories and very relatable. It is a powerful message on why a resumption to cruising is crucial for so many businesses that are affected. As we continue to support our amazing suppliers, Archie Rose and Glandor Wines have very kindly offered some incredible deals that are available exclusively to you guys, our P&O family. Check out P&O's Facebook and Instagram stories after the show for these great deals. Since 2008, P&O Cruises have partnered up with the Sit Down Comedy Club in Brisbane. They provide us with the best comedians to keep you guys entertained throughout your cruise. We thought we'd do something special for you and take you to the Sit Down Comedy Club in Brisbane. Usually performing live and late at night in the Black Circus, please welcome Kat Davidson and Lindsay Webb. P&O family, uh, what a pleasure this is. Thanks, thanks very much. It's nice to be talking to you. We know it's uh, it's been tough times, Kat. It has it's been tough times, and I miss P&O. I miss my P&O family. I miss doing shows on the ships. You, I'm sure. Oh you my do. gosh, I miss. Um, we're flying the flag for P&O tonight because uh, I miss having time, Lindsay. Just three days of just. What are you up to? Oh, yeah, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. One of my favourite things about working on the ships is that you can walk to work. Oh. Uh, not that I'm do, not normally able to walk, but on the ship, you just wake up, walk to work. Uh, obviously, yeah. uphill and downhill on a flat surface somehow, but uh, I do miss working on the ships. You can do a lot of things on there. When we go on, for example, we do a couple of galas, which are great fun. Love a gala. Galas are always fun. We always do some late night shows. They're, they're fun. <laughs> Most of the time. I, 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 love a, I miss doing the ones in the nightclub. Oh, well, I don't, to be honest. <laughs> so, you know, we don't have to agree on everything. You just come out there just going, Rhino, who wants to stop dancing and listen to me talk? Nobody! Yay! It's so, great uh, fun. They're nice. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, you get to do solo shows in a great big theatre. And uh, if you haven't been on the ships, imagine a nice theatre that you've been to anywhere on dry land just happens to be at the very front of one of those amazing ships. They've got so many different things. Uh, I, I really do miss them, and I hope they come back soon. I'm, I feel sorry for everybody. I don't know where you're watching from today, whether you're watching as a fan online or maybe from the cabin on one of those ships. We will be back. We'll come back because I've... I left some things on there. Did you? Honest. Yeah, I left. Didn't so, know we weren't going back. And cab, cabin 5048. Couple, couple of, shh, uh, <laughs> a couple of shirts. <laughs> we, we do get a bit jelly because the, uh, the crew, which we are when we're on board, uh, we stay in the crew cabins quite often. Uh, and then we, we'll go up and we'll hear one of the, uh, the passengers saying, I'm just going out to sit on the deck. The what? And we're like, mm, Yeah, is that, I don't know. I don't fit through my porthole. <laughs> But I also miss, I mean, you guys had to get, like, you had to get in a car and come here tonight. You had to make effort. You've mm. probably got children in the car park, but on the... <laughs> well, it's not summer. Settle down. It's fine. Crack the window there, OK? <laughs> Twisties. Lemonade. But on the ship, you just... Kids club. Kids club. Kids club. Someone dressed as a turtle or a shark <laughs> just takes all the children. And you're fine with it. <laughs> totally fine with it. And at the end of the day, what have I for I've forgotten? That's not the keys. Don't need keys. <laughs> Ooh, kids! Ah! They've been delivered back to your room. They're asleep. Twisties, lemonade, boom. Uh, <laughs> so we are, we are so looking forward to when it's safe to do so, coming back and, uh, and being with our cruise family. For those of you still at sea, uh, we're thinking of you. For those Hang of in you there. in lockdown, uh, there will come a time where you can stand on a stage with an old friend uh, and, uh, and do some comedy. So <laughs> you, you, are quite, you are older than me, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. Shut that up. brings me joy. Oh, look, we're running out of time. <laughs> No, you no, are. I'm running Because you're time. dying sooner ah! than I am. Yeah. Thank yeah, yeah. you. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to throw to a very, very old... Oh, he's really oh, come old. Come on, he's going to hate that. Proper old... He even looks old. Uh, ...colleague and comedian, a piano classic. It's Mick Meredith! Yeah! See you. Thank you, gang. Thanks, guys. It's great to be part of Fly the Flag Live. We can't do this on a ship, but uh, we're doing it on the next best thing, on a shag pole carpet in a corner of a bedroom. This is what I've been up to in lockdown. Toilet rolling, rolling, rolling. My cupboard's are so swollen. Cause I've been toilet roll all the time. I've got a bug roll disorder. I am a solid hoarder. I'm always searching up and down the aisle. Stuck here in isolation. 
I need my three life fixation. Don't want to use up all of my stockpile. I walked into the restaurant like I had been in there before. I ought to take away there a hundred times. Sure, and locked down your my favorite store. The waitress said, What would you like? I said, I'll have the same as before. And she just turned to the kitchen and yelled at them, He'll have number 44. Chowmain. You know there's other stuff on the menu, but I want chow mein. You know that you could have sang chow down too, don't you? Lockdown girl, she's isolated from the outside world. Does all the socializing now? By drinking wine Losing her mind Cause she's in lockdown, girl She's got the sniffles But she's not unwell She gets around all day In tracksuit pants And 50 times a day She'll wash her hands Can't take a chance I'm with a lockdown, girl Cheers, big ears. See you all again on the high seas, sailing along, having a good time real soon. Bye. Uh. <laughs> that was amazing. It is so lovely to see Kat, Lindsay and Mick again, even if it was only virtually for now. I agree. Hopefully it won't be too long until we can see them all in person. Now let's Chris cross back over to our adventurers and see how they are doing. Adventurers? Yes. Josh and Danny, yes. can you hear me? <laughs> Josh and Danny, rumor has it, Josh got down on one knee and popped a big question on Pacific Explorer back in 2019. Is this true? Yes, it is. Back on the green oh on, my the, God. on level seven, overlooking back of boat. That was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, I could, honestly, I could imagine <laughs> that sound. That sounds so special. And let's, uh, Inacio family, we love your guys' energy. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. We have plenty. We just we were chatting. We wanted to know what's your favorite activity or event on board? Dancing, blue room dancing, anytime. <laughs> oh, <I love> it. <laughs> We've seen some of those dance moves and we got to see them again back at our oh, theme amazing. nights. That's awesome. Yeah, we look forward to that. And Julie and Kylie, first of all, Julie, great name. What's your drink of choice when you're on board? Mm. What's my story? Oh, oh. Drink of um, choice. If you could choose any cocktail. You have to choose one. Anything in a glass. Oh, she's got two. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's brilliant. Oh, beautiful. What have you got there? Um, I have a Moscato and a oh, sunny side. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. Cheers. Good job. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. It's Cheers, so great guys. to see you again. And well, Patria see. and Ed, now you guys have done... 27 cruises and oh. i remember you both so well we were on a cruise with you for two weeks from sydney to singapore and i just remember speaking to you about your next one that was already booked um it's so great yeah. to see you and ed we hear you've got a surprise for us this evening Ooh. well we have we've been missing so th so many things about cruising that we've done another little song and we stole it from sound of music and it's based on our favorite things <laughs> are you ready amazing oh, yeah, yeah. Sleeping on cocktails and watching the ocean, lounging on deck chairs, some tanning lotion, live entertainment and why where we'll see. These are a few of our favorite cruise things. We miss bingo when we don't cruise. We miss theme nights too. So simply remember our favorite cruise things and then we don't feel so bad. <laughs> yeah. oh, amazing, 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 guys. Oh, Absolutely don't. beautiful, honestly. <laughs> oh, 
can bring tears to you. You guys are awesome. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. much. We love that rendition of my favorite thing. Amazing. Can't wait to be back. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll we'll chat to you guys in a bit. (laughs) Over the past past 18 months, we have really been touched by the support and love. We have received messages and comments online to good old-fashioned handwritten letters and even phone calls to our head office in Sydney telling us how much you love cruising and why, what, and what you miss the most about being at sea. We have put some of those lovely messages together and we wanted to share them with you all tonight. I'm so excited and eager to see p return back to Australia. We've had a hard couple of years and now the time has come when we need to enjoy ourselves. God, I miss cruising. Come on, it's about time we had a date. Because I want to go cruising with P&O. I cannot wait to go back cruising for all of the onboard entertainment. I miss the bingo, the nights out, um, the laughs, your- the dancing, the drinking, and the eating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me personally, I cannot wait to get back to the island. The cruise directors, yeah. the staff, the fun they bring to my holiday. Bring this out. Friends, we right, the yes. friends that we met. That's why we can't serve it. Yeah. And one of my favourite memories is cruising with my family for four generations. Spending time with my family, meeting new friends, the sunsets and the sunrises. Most of all, I just miss cruising. Just the whole aspect of cruising. I am so looking forward to getting back on a yeah. P&O comedy cruise. Yeah. Because let's yeah, face it, after the last 18 months, we could all do with a good laugh. Okay. Dressing up for different parties. The food. Oh, the... don't forget to bring. Oh, now we yes. can hear you, but we won't be able to get any messages. Right, yeah. I don't. Ah, ah. Not to mention the food. Yeah. Unlimited desserts yep. from Sugar Bar. Yeah. We miss cruising with P&O right. because of that That's one right. friendly atmosphere okay. that you feel as soon as you walk on board. I can't wait to enjoy it again. All the fun we have experienced on our cruises. Smell that beautiful fresh sea air. Relax and enjoy the great entertainment on board. Please come back to them. Do yourself a favour. Book a p cruise. Go and book. I mean, I've booked. Bring back cruising. Please. Cheers. Cheers. I'm flying the flag for p Let's fly the flag together. Oh, I'm filled with so much emotion watching and hearing all of those messages. I honestly dream about that first cruise when the captain sounds the horn and we sail under that harbour bridge. I feel like shedding a tear now. (laughs) Thanks everyone for sending in those messages and thanks to Danny Black for sharing his best moments too. Those videos really bring us so much joy. Ahoy, Cruislings. Danny Black here, and I can't tell you how much I miss performing for you guys on the beautiful piano ships. But let's all keep flying the flag, and hopefully soon we can all be together again. Working on board piano for the past seven years has provided me with some amazing memories, a lot of which I've documented on my social media pages. And you know what? Here's a snippet of some of my favorite memories, and you, you might even spot yourself. My favorite spot on the ship. So gorgeous.
Electro Man thing. I hope you enjoyed reliving some of those great times on board, and I can't wait to do it all again. Beautiful view, right? Wow. I mean, this is reality, though. Hmm. I like this better. A couple weeks back, we ran a competition on our PO Facebook page asking you to share some of your favorite PO Cruise photo memories with us. And there were a lot of great ones. And you know what? I think it's time to announce the winners. So back to the Pacific Adventure and Lee, Ron, and Julie. Thank you so much, Danny Black, for sharing your favorite moments on board. These videos really bring back many happy memories for us. The competition has received a record number of entries, which is just incredible. You really are all eager to cruise again. We have gone through all of your amazing pictures and favorite memories that you have sent in. And whilst we would love to give you all a cruise, there can only be one grand prize winner. The winner has been selected by our Fly the Flag team and our Sydney-based headquarters. Ooh, are we ready for this? In third place, and a big congrats. And a big congratulations to... <gasps> Drumlo. Where is it? There it is. Third place. Oh, congratulations. A big, big congratulations to you guys. You have won a Piano Cruise gift pack. So that'll be sent to you guys shortly. And then in second place, and a massive, massive congratulations to... Oh, that's an amazing oh, shot. Oh, great shot. Congratulations. Great shot. That you is have incredible. Also won a a PNO cruise gift pack. And the moment that you have all been waiting for in first place, winning oh a three day comedy cruise for two on the Pacific, Pacific Adventure. A huge congratulations to. Yeah, oh. Sarah, congratulations. You have won the P&O Cruise, the Comedy Cruise. Um, for everyone else who has won a gift pack, please do send a private message to the P&O Facebook page and they will get those sent out to you shortly. Amazing, amazing. Awesome. All right. We, also, we, we're going to do a spot prize. Absolutely. Yeah? So we've also been looking through a little bit more of your photos. Ooh. We found another little favorite. So here's a spot prize for you. Who's going to get it? Oh, <laughs> congratulations. Good job, guys. So that package will be sent to you off as well. Awesome, Thank you for guys. that photo, Anne-Marie. Don't forget to send a PM to Facebook page. Thank you. Good job, Anne-Marie. Congratulations to all of you guys. That was so much fun, honestly. Mm -hmm. eh? One of my favorite things to do on board is give away prizes. And seeing that excitement and joy on people's faces is just like the best. Well, then let's have some fun. I can already feel the tension in this virtual bubble. Cruislings? It's time Ooh. for trivia. Awesome. So trivia is like a national sport on board. I've seen families literally create World War III during a general knowledge trivia. Well, when you are playing for an ever fashionable P&O tote bag or the one of a kind oh. limited edition P&O key ring, oh the stakes God. are high. You either go hard or you go home. Very true. All right. This is how this evening's trivia is going to work. We are going to be asking you some questions. Each question is eligible for a prize. Providing, of course, you answer the question correctly. Leron will ask a question and you answer the question by writing your answer in the comment box below. You can play for all the questions or simply play on any question that you think you know the answer for. Okay. Now, as we are playing live, we'll be looking for the first correct answer to appear in the comment section. Mm -hmm. All right, as always in this modern day and age, some answers may come through faster than others. However, the final say on the winners will be based on the answers that first appear in the comments section and verified by our team in Sydney. All right, are we going to get into it? Are we all ready? Where on board would you find Fat Cow? Ooh. Now you've got to pop your answer. You guys have all been on board. You, you guys love where one. this is. Where on board would you find the Fat Cow? What you can do, guys, if you want to make it a little bit easier, put your quest Q1 and then pop your answer right there so it's quick. Get those answers in. Get those. Congratulations, oh, Joshua, Joshua Hendricks. Hendricks. Good you job. You were the first one in for that one. So, Joshua Hendricks, good job. Just, again, drop your a PM to uh, our Facebook page and we'll um, get those prizes off to you. Okay, we're going on to our second question. Where or which venue on board would you find the resident cost performing a production show? So which venue on board would you find the resident cast performing a production show? What's your You've... favorite production show? Ooh, that's a, such a tough one. 
I love Seven. I love yeah, Seven a lot. Yeah, and it has to be the rock show. Oh, I oh, love oh, the rock the show. The energy oh is God. just incredible. Absolutely amazing. So whereabouts, guys? Would you see these Beautiful. shows? We've given a good clue. Shane Waitley, I hear Shane Waitley is our winner. So congratulations, Shane Waitley. You got it correct. It is the Marquee Theatre. So good job mm -hmm. on that one. And our third question. Ooh, I love, ooh, okay, let's see how you guys get this one. I think ooh. I'll get this one. You're right? Okay, I'll give you three options for this one. How's that? What party dance is iconic for Piano Cruises Australia during our sail away party? I'll give you options. Is it A, the chicken dance? Is it B, hot potato? Or is it C, the nut bush? I think you should give us a demonstration. Oh. <laughs> do you want to do, do the chicken dance? <laughs> Let's see how and you guys <laughs> uh. Do you know hot potato? Any do you know hot potato? Out? I do, of course I it's know It's the Wiggles. <laughs> Who's got our first correct answer? Is it A, B or C? Is it A, B or C? Ladies and gents, what is the answer? The chicken dance, hot potato or the nut bush? First answer. Oh my God, we got a winner. It is Gem Award. Congratulations, Gem Award. Please send a PM to our Facebook page and we will get a prize oh, pack sent awesome. out to you shortly. Oh, honestly, trivia is great, eh? Trivia is always so much fun. And speaking of fun, we have some comedy lined up for you. One of our popular comedians that we get a welcome on board is a legend in her own right. From touring around Australia in the award-winning show, Busting Out, her incredible humour has our sides splitting on board in her brassy tell-all one-woman show at the sit-down comedy club. It is the one, the only, Bev Killick. All right, now usually Bev comes with a caution sign well in advance, wherever she goes. However, in this world exclusive, Bevo is showcasing a short skit on cruising that is suitable for the whole family. Bevo, take it away.
<laughs> oh my God, thanks, Bev, that was great. Now, one question we get asked over and over again is where and how are the crew? This really means so much to us and it shows how much you appreciate our fantastic team members on board and all of the work that they do. After such a long pause in operation, some crew members have moved on to other things. Some have opened their own businesses, others have been spending more time with family and friends and taking up new hobbies. But for many of the crew, they are patiently waiting to return to what they do best. Life at sea is a career for many of our team. And for many of you cruisings, you will know that our crew members have been with us for longer than we can remember. We wanted to thank you for your love and support you have shown and continue to show the crew. And in honor, in honor of that, we have a few messages from our amazing crew that we want to share with you tonight. Australia, New Zealand, and from all over the world. I miss our Embarkation Day sail away party, seeing all of you there with our awesome DJs. I miss seeing you at all of our events. I'm missing you at our shows. And see all of those familiar faces back on board. I really miss to play piano, sing along with all of you. I miss seeing you all on board, having a great time. My guests from Australia and New Zealand. I miss seeing the smile on your face. I miss seeing guests around our ship. Meeting friends and old friends and making new friends. I miss serving you with our food and refreshing drinks on board. I miss sailing in the Pacific. I miss teaching the kids with different kinds of activities. I miss setting up bingo. I miss you to see you again to book in Pacific Encounter. I miss the busy registration time every turnaround day for kids. I absolutely miss performing for you guys at the All White Party. I miss looking after your team. I miss seeing the passengers, the guests and the crew. I miss performing our amazing shows to our incredible guests on board. And I really miss seeing those beautiful smiling kids that I miss hosting all the shows, all the trivias. I really miss cooking food for all my lovely passengers. I miss being a part of your adventure when you're going out on one of our tours. I miss seeing your pieces coming on the gangway. I miss sailing around the Pacific. The morning trivias and get-togethers. The cruising and all happy faces around. I'm really missing fun in the theatres with you all. We love the I'm flying the flag for piano. I'm flying the flag for piano. I'm flying the flag for piano. I'm flying the flag. I'm flying the flag. I'm flying the flag for piano. I'm flying the flag for piano. I'm flying flag for piano. Let's fly the flag together. Let's fly together. Let's fly the flag 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 together. So let's fly the flag together. Ready, seven, six, five. It's so good to see so many familiar faces from both home and on board of our ships. It'll be an emotional day when all of us crew are reunited. Many of you cruisings know we are a family on board and you are a part of that family too. Yes, you are our beautiful P&O family. It has been amazing to spend this evening with you as we continue to fly the flags to celebrate all things P&O. Please don't forget to leave comments, messages and photos in the comment section. We look forward to reading them all later this evening. Let's cross one more time over to the Blue Room and say farewell to our lovely adventurers. Adventurers, you guys have been awesome! Bye! Oh, Bye! 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 We would love to thank everyone involved in tonight's show, all across Australia and on board the Pacific Adventure who have helped make this possible. Our suppliers, amazing entertainment, our shoreside team, and everyone on board, and of course, the adventurers.
We hope that you have had as much fun as we have. And whilst we can only entertain you virtually for now, we know that it is going to be epic when we do return. That is a day we all look forward to, sailing the high seas and our exceptional crew doing what we do best. Keep flying the flag for resumption of cruising and we cannot wait to welcome you guys on board sometime in the very near future. Good night and lots of love from Pacific Adventure and all of us at Piano Cruises. <laughs>